My talk is about um, some uh, an action research that I did for my graduate class. And what I did is uh, I was uh, looking at wondering. Did you ever, did, your students, did they ever come up and ask you, when will I ever use this? We all get that. And invariably, we answer, uh, well, you could use this as an architect or a doctor, right? What have you really done when you said that? If you're dealing with struggling students, you just alienated. There's a one student who wants to be an architect, and you just alienated the other third. They've, they've just justified in their heads that math is not for them. It works just the opposite. What we need to do is to get them to relate that into their life. How do I do that? Well, in an action research, um, often those questions, trying to figure out what you want to do, begins with, I wonder. Because you're wondering something and you're doing it in your classroom. Well, and uh, you know, it's, it's, we're not talking about boy wonder, wonder woman, wonder dog, or any of these other wonders. It's uh, my action research is trying to get the students, I wonder if an application of a daily short opener which focuses on the wondering about math relationships. So in other words, students themselves are going to see something and they're going to try to wonder about it. How did that work? Do you ever wonder about McDonald's bag? I put that up in there. It was crushed. It was old. I wondered about that. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable what they did. And it had to be related to math. And they were writing things about the angles in the bag. And then they would say, well, I was wondering about the, how many angles are on a bag. And then somebody said, just flatten it out, and you can count them up, or you can, you know, it's, it's unbelievable how much math is in there. There's calories, there's distance, there's size, area. There's so much math in everything, and that's where our students are missing. Or this. Do you ever ever wonder about the cables? I know that. I mean, if, you know, if you can go all the way up to calculus with parabolas, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in here. So my students did that every single day. The structure that I, I set it up was I had them write one or two sentences. I had them uh, it had to relate to math. Um, they had to complete that writing in one minute so that each one would be shared. So I would just go go, and then he would wonder about this. He would wonder about that. She would wonder about that. She would wonder, and they would just keep snaking around the room until they were done. And then we had a quick one minute, two minute discussion about the object and what kind of math would, that everybody came up with. I always thought, that when I first started this, that there would be so many uh, of the same. I think in all the, this is now the third year that I did this, every single class there might be two of the same. That blew my mind how different kids think about math. You would think, okay, well, you know, think about this table, it's a box, it's got it's got a height and width. Everybody in here will almost come up with something different. It's weird, but it's true. And what did I do? I had, uh, just to check it, I had three post surveys of uh, students about math. I did a quick interview with each one, and then I did um, some uh, tests, uh, pre-tests and post-tests for every single unit I taught. And this area right here is negative or severely negative about math. This is indifferent, so there's hardly anybody that actually um, Man. <laughs> in the struggling class. So how did it go? In the second week, I got called into the dean. This is really cool. My dean. He <laughs> said, you're, you're doing what? Teach him man. Teach him how to do it. But, thank goodness, the dean said, okay, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll, give, I'll reserve judgment. Let's see what happens. By the third week, the students were beginning to imagine how math fit in the world. By the fourth week, I introduced the math of static and, and motion to the cart. I put the thing on top of it. They wrote about what they thought about math and invariably was static. How big it is, how this, how this. Then I, I looked at a clock and I moved it, right? For 15 seconds, boom. They immediately moved right into math of motion, rates, and this. And, and they were not good at this. I, I, these are struggling students that already had all this. Uh, by week uh, six, I had objects written up on the board and they had to relate to two. That was my ultimate goal. And then in their minds, they uh, saw that the objects were competing. And then they were able to start putting them on a graph in either direction, the independent and the dependent variable. And able, they were able to switch them. 
and then they, they were able to start understanding that uh, that um, that the, them, that, the, that the that everything is related, everything in their entire world. So this says, uh, well, you can't really read it, but it says, I wonder, is there a mathematical relationship between table and chairs? Right? I, I just said, do something with that. And then should, they said, this one said, you can put down, uh, you can put it in, together an equation to find out how many tables to chairs in the room, or what is the ratio of table and chairs? They're thinking about math. This is unbelievable. And so the result at the end of the semester, well, it was well received. Students actually thought it was okay. And the one student, they called me into the dean. He said, I cursed him. He can't walk anywhere without seeing it. In other words, he, he looks up at the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. Okay. So, <laughs> in this room, there are eleven can lights for every auditorium. Is that true for everything? You can do this. How many pieces of paper were, were torn up? There were four pieces for every individual. There is, you can take any two things, no matter how unrelated they are, and you can come up with a relationship. So, uh -oh. I don't know why, but I'm just almost done. Uh, this is the, uh, this, um, so two things happen. This was pre and post. The scores went up. Yeah, they went up like 12%. They've done that every year, so it, it's, it's true. But they, they became very interested in seeing math when they walked out that door in everything they did. It was no longer, well, you can use this as a doctor. And I, myself, am an architect. And I got to tell you, you don't use the kind of math that you're teaching in high school or middle school. Often. Geometry, yeah. Um, that's it. Okay.